hey guys welcome back to my channel so for this tutorial we're going to be doing medium size rope twist uh, on natural hair uh, first things first I like to do my upside down U part and then I apply a little bit of my shining jam and then I split the hair into two preparing it for the two strand twist now the rope twist we're going to be starting the twist with like twisting from the roots as opposed to braiding first and then transitioning into a twist uh, the rope twist is just it just gives the illusion of a rope twist <laughs> So I pre-twist the hair and then I place it on the hair and twist to the right and I swap hands, take the other piece of hair with the braiding hair and twist to the right as well and I crisscross while twisting, crisscross while twisting. Um, this is just going to make sure that you have consistent twisting all through the hair so that way you don't have like loose twists and the hair can be unraveled. So just twist and then you swap hands, twist, swap hands. Um, the more you practice, the more quicker it's gonna come naturally to you so just um, yeah just keep that motion going After you've separated the hair, make sure you take the braiding hair and pre-twist it before you place it on the hair. Make sure you place it above uh, at the very top of the parting. This is going to make sure that the hair stays exactly where you want it to be when you kind of over direct it. Uh, and then use that your hand that's in the middle, use that to make sure that the braiding hair is placed at the base of her hair. And then just like I said, twist and swap hands, twist and swap hands. Um, yeah, that's going to make sure that your hair stays at the roots and it's not hanging awkwardly you know it's nice and firm and secure uh, and of course just twist and swap hands to kind of give you that consistent twist from the root to the tip some red pieces just to give it some nice cute highlights and a little bit of a personality uh, to the hairstyle and yeah just you're gonna be doing the same method it's hard to kind of hide your natural hair inside of colored braids uh, for twists it just is impossible and trust me I tried it just not it just does not work <laughs> but yeah you're just gonna be doing the same method pretty much all through and yeah <laughs> So 
So today's shout out goes to Braised by Cares from Virginia and Kissable Curls from Memphis. Um, both do amazing work. I've went through their pages and I really love their work. Oh, and that red half up, half down look is a, a whole vibe. And that really cute crochet hairstyle is super cute. Make sure you guys check them out. Check out their bio for info on how to book. I believe one of them you have to text them to book and the other has a style suit account so just look at the bios and let them know that glam by mary sent you if you do decide to book with them so for the back we're pretty much going to be doing the same method except we're going to be taking the we're going to make the parts just a little bit bigger not that much bigger but just a little bit so that way you're not stuck there all day uh, so yeah just going to be doing the same upside down u part so that way the braids can fall naturally to her natural hair fall and move naturally as her hair would move and then obviously separate the hair and pre-twist the braiding hair before you place it on the hair this is going to make sure that it's already twisted straight from the roots before you even start and then use that your finger as an anchor to make sure that it lays really nice and flat to the base of her hair while twisting it to the right okay <laughs> It's a lot. You got to do a lot of little things at the same time, but over time, you get it. Don't don't stress yourself at all. Uh, but yeah, just take your time. Use products if you need to to kind of help make sure the natural hair is nice and tucked inside of the braiding um, hair. Um, oh, I want to have a conversation with you guys real quick. Uh, so I was talking with a client and we were talking about how um, expression braiding hair doesn't really work well with natural hair sometimes like after a while your natural hair tends to like puff up inside of the expression braiding hair making your twist look older like quicker um, and I was saying how like I would always recommend Marley twist hair for people that do have natural hair and still want to get twists because it just makes the whole process easier for them and they just you just make the you're able to enjoy your hairstyle longer because even if your hair does react the braiding hair matches your natural hair perfectly so it holds up longer So when you're done, this is what your hair should look like. Um, nice and cute. I love the little red highlights. I thought it just added some personal touches to the hair. Um, but yeah, this is what it should look like. And then we're gonna begin to, you know, snip up any little stray hairs. You wanna be careful because with twists, you may have more flyaways than usual because like I said, it's twists, you're really wrapping the natural hair around the braiding hair as opposed to braids where you're tucking the hair inside of the braids. So it's a little bit different. So make sure you're not like actually cutting your client's hair to, uh, you know, when you're doing that portion. So I like to separate her hair into four sections to dip it in hot water so that way I don't overwhelm myself and then not be able to manage it while working with hot water so just kind of section it off 
before you dip it don't forget to use your towels and things like that and of course going with your mousse just apply that to the base um, I like to do this because it adds like moisture and shine to the hair sometimes and plus it also makes it feel really really good on the client's scalp after being twisted for a while but anyways just going with a damp towel dipped in hot water make sure it's not dripping and just kind of lightly go over the hair at the base that you weren't able to dip in the cup this is gonna you know make it smoother and just give it more movement and not make it so stiff and of course I like to go in with the spritz um, because it just holds everything just holds it up nice and cute um, but yeah that's really it if you need to accessorize go on and accessorize uh, if you need to lay your baby hairs go on and do that but that is it for this tutorial make sure you give the video a thumbs up make sure you like and comment and I'll see you guys in my next video have a merry day and God bless